who believe in him shall never be disappointed. And it shall come at the appointed time I'll pour out my spirit so that they must not be disappointed as they believe. So never just say I believe. Know where it comes from. It comes from the application of the revelation. It comes from what has been revealed. Not from just dream, plan, and dig the foundation. No. It must be the revelation, the word given, that your eyes may see. And the next day you say, this must happen. This must happen, it must be done this way, we do it this way. So that also those who were ready to be oppositional or to accuse or to interrupt may be repelled by him. So he finished building and the spirit of grace proved to be the spirit that stands firm, immovable, and continues with him. And the people had to shout, grace, grace, grace. And I shall pour upon the house of David the spirit of grace. So enter with confidence, by faith, believe, with no doubt that you might find mercy and grace in times of need. Whatever you need, when there are times of need, your needs are met. You shall never be disappointed. And that's why when God began to give me the word, he says, we are not going to deal with people just coming for healings and whatever. Heaven and earth will pass, but my word must remain. Give them the word. Give them my word. If you want a firm foundation, give them the word. Why? First Corinthians 3, the apostle Paul says, you read from verse 8, he says, by grace I build this foundation, and this foundation is Christ. And whoever builds on it must be careful how they build. It's by grace. And that's why God had to give me the word. I had to listen. And begin to give the word. So those who believe will never be disappointed.